Oh, did you oh, hear puberty. that voice crack? Yes. Ooh, 12 year old boy, hello. Hello, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently July 13th. If you guys have watched my past reading vlogs for the past like three uploads, I haven't been reading that much because I've been spending a lot of time with my boyfriend. Sorry, not sorry. This week, I'm determined to actually finish the two books that I've been reading for the past like three weeks since I started dating Will. So the first book is A Wicked Magic by Sasha Lawrence. I think I only have like 15 pages left of that book, probably less, so like I'm almost done it. It's about these two girls named Dan and Liz who dabble in magic a little bit and they end up summoning like a demon and this demon takes their friend who is Liz's boyfriend Johnny and the whole story is basically they're trying to get Johnny back. I I'm not the biggest fan of this book. I've been reading it for three weeks now. I think that it definitely needs to have trigger warnings put at the front of it for like cutting, suicide ideation, um, probably like parental abuse mentally and physically. It, like it's just a lot and there was nothing and it was just like oh my god. But yeah, it's probably going to be either a 2.5 or a 3 star read for me. I haven't really decided yet. I have to finish it and see what I think by the end of it. And then I'm also reading Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. Still, it's been three weeks as well. I'm liking this way more than A Wicked Magic. I am on page 325 of this and probably gonna be a four star read. I'm listening to it on audio. I think I have like one or two more parts of the audiobook to listen to so I should be able to finish this really soon but probably not today because a whole lot of shit is going on which I'll talk about in a later clip because I don't want to do it anymore because I'm out of breath. <laughs> I have to go to the doctor again. A fortune. Because I have to get my TB test because my job that I'm starting in two weeks says you must be screened for TB. So that means I have to go get stabbed again. Do you guys want to see my needle bruise still? I still have it. It's been like three days. It still hurts to like lift my arm. It's crazy. It's funny as you thought that she was really gentle. She was so nice. She was just like, here. Oh, because she's, she's the baby doctor. Yeah, and she, I was like, wow, you were so gentle. And she goes, yeah, I do it on the infants. I was like, ah, they sent me the infant said. doctor. Still would like to say did not cry. Did not have to lie down. I'm a big girl now. You might want to talk about your history. Yeah, I'm terrified of needles. I don't like them. They freak me out. And usually when I get a needle, I'll like get it. Hyper I'll scream and like freak out. Cry, bargain. Yeah, and it's like the stupidest thing ever because I know that they're not scary, but I still I freak out every time. Closet. Like grade seven, because I had a little sign made out of a ruler and a line piece of paper that said no needles. And I was having my own little picket line on the front lawn of my middle school. Yeah. Did not work. She was like, get in the car. I had to go get the needle. So I hid in the doctor's room coat, closet the like the closet. closet and then the little nurse comes and she's like knocking on the door she's like you can come out now and I stood up and she goes oh you're a lot taller than I thought you were <laughs> and then usually I'll get the needle and then stand up and then get the stars in your eyes and like you go really white and like you gotta lie down or you're gonna faint yeah so I don't do needles well yeah because you did lie down in the doctor's waiting room at yeah I lie point. down on the floor <laughs> and, and people, people had to are, walk over me and, and I was they're really like, concerned and I'm like she's okay yeah and I'm like I'm good and just <laughs> Head's a little woozy, but we're good. Um, my brother's girlfriend, she moved away to BC. Yep. I always get New Brunswick and BC, British Columbia mixed up because I'm a true totally. Canadian. <laughs> yeah, they're not even close to each other, but I can't do it because uh, dyscalculia. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's- Excuse me, it's geographical. No, that's looking it's at It's geographical. Map. It's just looking at- It's literally geographical. <laughs> Look up the symptoms. Look up the symptoms. That's Look up the symptoms. A, Look up the symptoms. Look it up. Look it that up. Is such a stretch. No, it literally says you can't read maps. That's one of the symptoms. Boom. Like no, but it doesn't Boom. say that you're not intelligent. You can't remember BC West Coast. I am intelligent. Anyways, so girlfriend. my brother's girlfriend Sam Samantha, she moved away for work to BC, and she's been In gone January. for like yeah six months. And we're surprising him today because she came home for COVID and she has been doing the isolation thing, but it's finally done. So now we're gonna go pick her up and then he's at work until 6.30. So we're picking her up at four and then she's gonna be like sitting in the chair waiting for him when he gets home. And it's gonna be amazing because his face is gonna be like, ah! 
<laughs> yeah, we're we're pretty excited. Yeah, for it's gonna be great because they haven't seen each other in a thousand years. Like they, they years. see each other on Skype and it's all that same. kind of stuff, but it's not. They're the gonna same. hug and it's gonna be beautiful. And it's I'm gonna so be excited. And, and We've acquired the girl. <laughs> Mom, are you excited? I am so excited. Are you excited? Yeah. We can't tell if you're smiling or not. Yeah, we, she's, she's, she's got a quarantine. Go. Can I walk in the fucking door? <laughs> What is he saying? It's reminding him that he's already having me. It's what I do, buddy. It's what I do. Can't help it. Look what we found. Look what? Look! Are you happy? And you sit there instead of. Planning this, Curtis? It's been in the works for weeks. Yay, it's so cute. Ah, disgusting. Gross. We got ice cream. Yeah. Uh, hold on. My Klondike Reese's. Get after it. So good. Stop making fun of me. I'm going to be fat, okay? How, how many are in the box? Four. And how many have you had? Two. Two? The other one's for you. Oh, I have to have two, too? Yes. Yeah. I'll put in the bag. Goodies. I love how the diabetic is trying to kill himself. Hey, you know what? It's all accounted for. It's all good. <laughs> Especially this. <laughs> Super good. Disgusting. <laughs> the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Stop it. Hello. It's now Tuesday and I'm just waiting for Will to pick me up. But I'm outside because my whole family is inside with Sam, Curtis's girlfriend. So. I don't want to update in front of them. But I finished a Wicked Magic. I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars because it just kind of like went downhill. It was okay at the beginning, like it was enjoyable, but then it just became like super repetitive. Which, and then by the end of it, the ending was really stupid. I did not like it at all. So I just was not a fan of it. So 2.5 out of 5 stars. And then for Goddess in the Machine, I have like two chapters left. So while I'm waiting for Will, I have to write the review for Wicked Magic and then I'm gonna listen to the rest of the audiobook for Goddess in the Machine. You can hear an airplane. And then I think Will has like seven more shirts that he has to do to finish his orders that he has so far. So I'll probably just read while he's working on those. I have no idea what I'm going to read since I finished Wicked Magic. I have to pick another book. I think I'm probably going to do A Kinder Poison, I think it's called. It's got a little scorpion on it. No idea who it's by. I want to say someone named Natalie, but I honestly cannot remember because that one's the one that's going to be archived on NetGalley pretty soon. So I need to like get rolling on that so I, I can actually like finish it before it gets archived but I don't know what it's about so like I'll look it up on Goodreads and update you in the next clip which is probably gonna be tomorrow because I'm sure that the only clips that I'm gonna have for today are gonna be with Will which I don't talk about books when I'm with him because he doesn't read what you get Post Malone's new vinyl record finally came in <laughs> pre-ordered it like last September waited like nine months for it no did, biggie did you do the happy dance when you got I it? totally did do the happy dance <laughs> It looks pink. It's a pinky purple. It's pink. It's not purple at that is, all. That is purple. It's 100% pink. Pink or purple? Y'all decide. <laughs> Wednesday. I just got back from the doctor because they looked at the little dot on my arm. I don't know if I can show you. It probably won't show up on camera. I don't I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a little bruise on my arm. I went to the doctor. It's just like a TB test and they literally walk up to me and they go show me your arm and they go, oh you bruised. And I'm like, yeah, you stabbed me with a needle. This would make sense. They like touch it to see if there's a bump. There's no bump. They're like, all right, see you in a week because I have to go back and do my other arm for it. But yeah, that happened. It was literally a 30 second appointment, which like why I had to go all the way there for it, for them to touch my arm, which makes sense because like they have to touch it, but like so stupid. I also still have a bruise from my booster shot and it's been like over a week now. So apparently I just bruise really easily and apparently like that test doesn't ever bruise. So I'm like a peach apparently. Um, I'm just waiting for my mom to come outside because we're gonna go get some food. We went grocery shopping earlier today. Um, I'm not seeing Will, which is sad 
because I have to coach at 7. If you guys are new, you don't know this, but I coach every Wednesday night um, basketball. For one girl, I do like a one-on-one -on -one session, uh, just like keeping her fit, I guess, for the summer. Yeah, that's like the only plans I have today. I'm going to actually read, probably listen to Goddess in the Machine, but I should be able to finish that today because I only have like two chapters left, I think, and it's really good, really liking it, definitely recommend if you're into like sci-fi. I think like the major complaint that I have for that book is that the civilization that Andra like ends up on, um, they speak in like a different language, but it's not really a different language, it's just like grammatically incorrect, and I'm like a huge stickler for grammar, so it like bothers me reading it just because like it's not grammatically correct, but like that's the language that they use so like it's a stupid pet peeve but i'm just like this is wrong whatever they have a lot of words with like ish on the end and like if they're saying like i'm i'm angry they'll be like i'm angry ish and i'm like hey i don't understand ish and i'm like I, it just bothers me which like is a stupid pet peeve i know but i still feel it but yeah i think that's like my only complaint for the book i'm probably gonna give it a four out of five stars like i've said a million times i keep looking down because like there's a bug I'm just like watching it to make sure it doesn't attack. Red shirt. It's delicious. Right? You what? I only got it's me. Yep. Package. Package. You have no idea what this is? No, what is it? Oh! <gasps> what is that? That's the second book in Queen's, Queen's Rising. Right. And Do I you was have like, the first one? I gave it a five out of five and I was obsessed with it. Whoever sent that, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Just one note. Yeah, because it's book depository. I told you. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's now like eight o'clock. I just finished coaching and my girl did so well today. I'm like a proud little mom because she's like finally listening to what I say because she always shoots with like two hands and it drives me crazy because like you shoot a basketball with one hand. So I finally got her to shoot with one hand and she's like doing so well and it's making me so happy. So like proud mom moment. Reading wise, I finished A Goddess in the Machine. I'm giving it a four stars. I really liked it. I think that it's the author's debut as well. I could be very wrong. So like don't take my word for that at all. But I thought it was really good. It was really entertaining. I really liked the characters. I was like super into like the nanotech that they had. It was like the whole world was based off of this nanotech. Like the people of the new civilization didn't really understand it. So it was like a mystery kind of thing. And like they were all like scared of it. And like the goddess controlled it. It was really cool. Definitely recommend it if you're into sci-fi. It was a lot of fun. I'm now reading a book called Come Again. It's like the new like NetGalley audiobook, which is like super cool that NetGalley's doing that, but I had an arc of it anyway, so I figured like why not listen to it on the audiobook if I have an arc anyways. I, I think it's about a woman whose husband just died of cancer and she's like obviously upset because they were married for 28 years, and then one day she goes to sleep, she wakes up, and she's back in the past on the first day that she met her husband, and it's like her trying to save him before he dies of cancer but I'm only like 30 pages in so I can't really say my thoughts on it like so far it's all right but like I'm 30 pages in so who knows but I'm gonna go drink some pina coladas with my mom now so mommy tell everyone the shame that you are <laughs> why am I ashamed? because you're a liar <laughs> and you <laughs> she made me do liar. it <laughs> yeah I did not have to twist your arm no it was it was it was there it was okay yeah. Yeah. You tricked me. Whatever. This is like literally all we eat all the time. <laughs> yep. I have no regrets. But tell everybody what a great cook I am. They actually taste like shit. They taste exactly like yours. Fuck you. <laughs> So it's now Thursday and I had grand plans to read last night after I was done coaching and then um, my mom and Will are little masterminds and he was sitting in my backyard after I was told that I wasn't seeing him last night. So that was a nice surprise for me. You guys don't care about that. You guys are probably sick of me rambling on about Will, but I'm sorry. Can't help it. Here comes mom. Hi! How are you? I'm good. How are you? So good. What are you doing? Updating the vlog. The vlog. The yeah, vlog. How much reading have you done? Oh wow. When did you do that? This morning. When I was playing Animal Crossing. Oh, you were listening to it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Is it good? No. Is that an arc or is it a... Mm-hmm. What are you doing today? Well, we're not going to sushi. 
I was supposed to go to sushi with Will and Sam and Curtis, but it's pouring it's rain. It's supposed to be raining all day? Yeah. 90% chance. Like all day. So, yeah. So we're not going because I'm not sitting in the rain. Now Will's just coming over to oh. chill, I guess. We'll probably watch movies or, I don't know, because we go for walks a lot. But that's not happening either because I'm not I'm walking in the rain. On preface. I don't want to hold it and he's short. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's not nice. <laughs> Am I wrong? Are you gonna tell Maybe me I'm wrong. I'm wrong? But you guys are actually gonna be proud of me because I did do some reading this morning while I was doing my Animal Crossing shit. But I'm reading Come Again by Robert Webb and I am now 182 pages into it. It's like a very average book, I think. Like it's your typical adult romance thing going on. They don't like each other so I'm like really confused about this like love story and how she's gonna like save him from cancer because they literally have no chemistry and they just like rip on each other all the time but it's not like a hate to love or like cute rip it's like a i despise you we've been married for 28 years kind of ripping on each other like they're like each other's mom and dad like i don't like it it's weird but yeah their chemistry is just off in my opinion and i feel like she should end up with the best friend but that's just me um other than that i am gonna go listen to this i'm waiting for will to come over because we we're supposed to go to sushi like i said when my mom was here but that's not happening so he's just gonna come hang out because he's a little bean but yeah that's the plans for today so i'm gonna read more of this until he shows up and then i'm sure there's gonna be clips with him there's always clips with him nice to meet you she oh, okay ready spin <laughs> spin again okay shake a paw nice to meet you high five okay shake a paw other paw thank you high five. Oh, good boy you're so smart sometimes, but then you're stupid other times. That's okay, we love you anyways. We'll train you like him. I can sit and shake a paw <laughs> and do more than that. <laughs> he listens better than you. When there's a treat involved. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do that for? Stop! <laughs> Why'd you press it? I pressed it with my bum. I know, why? So then it says walk for longer so you wouldn't get hit by car. Oh. Protecting my beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's make it more realistic. And then you gotta edit it so then it has the... I'm not gonna do that. Why? Do you think I know how to edit like that? Okay, so how much chocolate did we just eat? A flaky bar and a Reese's... Isn't it called flake? No, it's flaky. It's flake. It's flaky. How do you spell flake? F-L-A-K-E. How do you spell the name of the chocolate bar? F-L-A-K-E, but it's flaky because my Nana used to give it to us and she called them flaky bars, so they're flaky bars. Okay, fine. If it's nostalgia. Okay, whatever. Okay, so how much did we eat? We ate one flaky bar and then these. With the Reese's Pieces inside, so good. Yeah. We also had <laughs> a crunchy bar at home. Basically, he's making me fat. Trying so to, trying to. If I go back to 2018, Jay, it's his fault. <laughs> Why do you always blame me for everything? The lack of reading. Are you gonna tell me you're wrong? She doesn't have very much self-control. I'm supposed to look here, not there. <laughs> she doesn't have very good self-control, so she'll just eat whatever you put in front of her. So if she gets fat, it's her fault. Who's no. putting the food in front of me? You can choose not to eat the food. I was taught that if it's in front of you, you eat it because there are children less fortunate than you. <laughs> I always got, there are starving children in Africa that aren't as fortunate as you. Exactly. So eat your damn mushrooms. I was like- Mushrooms are good. Mushrooms are disgusting. Okay, I'll trade you my tomatoes for your mushrooms. Deal. Deal. Every time. My leg is so itchy. Why is your leg itchy? Oh my God. Are you trying to rip my <laughs> sight out? She's trying to kill me. She's trying to kill me. I got tubing coming out of my pocket because I'm diabetic and she trying to rip it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Trying to kill me. Well, because it was on the other side. I don't have life insurance, lady. You're not getting anything out of me. I know, but you switched Don't anybody sides. come and kill me either. You switched sides, though, so it's not my fault. I did. I mean, what did you do? I have Can vibes. you flip this around? No. Oh, balls. Okay, so they weren't just going to show this way. It's because I'm allergic to the outside, and you're making me go outside. Yeah, she's allergic to the outside, and no, I make her... allergic to everything in nature. But you're not. Yes, I am. That's the hoedown on the lowdown. Hoedown. I knew you were going to start singing Throw that. Down. <laughs> I guess we'll keep you updated later, folks. Probably not. That's probably no. the last yeah, clip. Probably. Bye. Bye. Bye.